Oh my god! Crown Zenith continues to be a hot commodity and flying off shelves. Luckily, I was able to get my hands on the new release this month. The three Galarian Bird Tins. Each includes five Crown Zenith booster packs and a beautifully illustrated alternate art Galarian Bird card. Today, we're cracking these open. Hello YouTube, I'm Player One and welcome to my channel. Today, we are opening up these three Galarian Bird Crown Zenith Tins. Let's not wait any longer. Let's just go ahead and break into them right now. And today's handy dandy closest sharp thing happens to be these, uh, I guess they're grooming scissors. Let's just go ahead and rip these open. Starting off with this Articuno. Okay, so I had to film this a little bit differently because it turns out I'm having an issue with one of my cameras. So let's just see if I can make this work. Starting off with this nice, beautiful Galarian Articuno promo card. Well, I think this is probably my favorite of the three just from looking at them through the, uh, through the windows on the packaging. Sleeve it up, put it off to the side. We got the five packs and let's start with five. We got pack number one. Now, what is it that we're looking for? We're looking for chase cards. This guy, that guy, maybe a little bit of this guy right here. But yes, that's what we are looking for. Start off with that code card for you guys. As we know, Crown Zenith has uh, all the same kind of code cards because it's a promotional set. So let's not worry about whether or not that spoils anything. We got a Pokeball, Whalmer, Ponyard, Larvista, Shinx, Reverse Rare, Crocorock, and a regular regular rare blossom. We got we got two more tins. We still got the whole entire rest of this tin and two more brand new tins that we're gonna check out. So hopefully we pull one of the chases. I mean we got three that we named today. Probably my most sought after one is gonna be that Mewtwo. But who knows? Maybe we get something more. Maybe we get some gold. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. We got a Galarian Gallery Toxtricity. I'm not sure if I have this one. I feel like I do, but who knows? Double wool. I know who knows. I'll know when I'm editing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're watching this, because remember, I am just about 30 subscribers away from hitting 500 subscribers. At the 500 subscriber mark, I will be giving, giving away either a Regilecki Crown Zenith collection box or a Reggie Drago Crown Zenith collection box. It will be your choice. We started off with, we, we're ending off this pack with an Oddish and a Rayquaza V reprint from Evolving Skies. Definitely a duplicate, but we're gonna go ahead and put that up here in the corner. We got two more packs. So far this Articuno tin hasn't given us anything spectacular. We still got a couple more packs, who knows? Who knows what we got in store? We have Girafig, Girafarig, Digging Duo, Executor, Cherubi, Young Goose, Emolga, Scyther. Ooh, we got a reverse hollow ditto. I like this guy. So I am gonna put it up here. Last pack of the Articuno 10. Code Guard. Starting off with a Dark Energy, Graveler, Bisharp, Yanma, Chatot, Love Disc. Purloin, Rock Ruff, ooh, Radiant Charger Bug. I do believe I have one of these already. And a regular rare Lipard. Let's go ahead and sleeve up that Charger Bug. Next up, we're tearing into this Zapdos tin. Galarian Zapdos, I would have to say, is my second favorite uh, redesign. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this promotional Zapdos. Beautiful card, strong legs charge and zapper kick. I mean, but that artwork. That artwork is amazing. Let's go ahead and get a sleeve on this guy. Set him off to the side. We got pack number one of the second tin, which is Zapdos. We got another code. One, two, three, four to the front. I'm hoping we got something good in this one. I wanna say I saw a little dark edge, but who knows? We got a Digging Dugo, Electric, Rescue Carrier, Young Goose, Pokeball, Scyther, Starly, Riolu, Ooh, 
Reggie Gigas V Star. Look at that artwork. That Galarian Gallery is amazing artwork. Nice. I believe that this is just a regular rare in another set. And a hyper rare psychic energy. Nice. Double banger pack. Excellent. Excellent pack. Let's go ahead and get this sleeved up. So we can throw it off to the side. Guys, I don't know how you guys feel about these energies, the secret rare energies, but I happen to be in love with them. I still need a I have the fire, I believe. But I still would like to pick up that dark and that steel. Look. You see the texture pattern of the psychic energies in the back. And then if you flip it a different way, you see Pokeballs. That is pretty cool. I love that. We got pack number two out of five. So far, Zapdos is doing a little bit better than Articuno. Maybe Moltres is the one that's holding on the hits. We got another psychic energy. Luxio, Rare Candy, Great Ball, Whalmer, Galarian Meowth, Ball Toy, Tangela, Ponyard, Scythe Reverse, and a rare, regular rare Lipard. It's the second Lipard we've pulled in this opening today. I'm starting to not like it. You know, it, I feel like in every set, there's that one card that you just keep pulling and you just keep pulling, and it's not the one you want. It's almost, it's almost never the one anybody wants. But you keep going. You just power through. Pincurchin, Giraffe, Molga, Energy Retrieval, Execute, Cherubi. Ooh, we got another Galarian Gallery in this Thievil. Um, and then a regular rare Enamorous. This Thievil, though, is definitely getting a sleeve. I'm not a crazy, not super crazy about the art on this Thievil, but it's a hit nonetheless. Another pack. It's, it's incredibly interesting how the hits are just don't you just love the randomness of it it's it's interesting how it's like sometimes you'll get something really good sometimes you get something really bad but you're always in it for the thrill you know the thrill of not knowing that you're gonna get a second charger bug on your second tin and a regular rare zoroa like i said yes i believe this is the third radiant charger bug that i've opened but i think i have at least one more at another point we have another pack last pack of the Zapdos tin. Starting off with the Darkness Energy, Pokemon Catcher, Graveler. Also, I love the reverse energies. I mean, as much as, you know, it's just a regular reverse, I love the fact that the energies can be a reverse. We got Tauros Basic Energy and assigned Bead Bead? Bead? Bed? I'm not entirely sure, but it's signed. <laughs> you gotta forgive me for not knowing all the characters out of the games. I haven't played the games in a while. And I did find out recently that there is a relatively new card shop, or at least I think it's new. It's new to me, a uh, card shop in my area that does hold local tournaments. So I might go check one of those out. I mean, I have enough cards to build a deck, so why not build one and go check it out? Third and final tin starts off with this Galarian Molter as alternate art. This is another art that I really like, but I will say that the Zapdos and the Articuno win this out just because the yellow border against this blue background just throws the whole thing off for me. It really does. I don't like the way it looks. I don't know the competitive viability of any of these cards, but I might have to look into that, like I said, if I'm going to start competing. I just have to see if I can put together a functional deck and... Uh, you know, see if I can find the time to go to these tournaments because I don't know how long they take. I don't know how many people show up, but they can get, they can run long if it's anything like the Pokemon Go tournaments that I used to attend. Back in the day, we started off with a Psychic Energy, Lairon, Friends in Sinnoh, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I used to play Pokemon Go. I used to go to the battle tournaments. Oh, we got another Parasect from the... Uh, secret rare art that you have to put together. Not another one, but my first one. And a Hatterene VMAX. We got a double hit. Like I was saying, I used to be really active with the Pokemon Go tournaments. This is all pre-pandemic, though. Once the pandemic hit, you know, Pokemon Go tournaments kind of went virtual for a while. And I don't know, at least in my area, they kind of fell off. Or maybe, maybe they didn't fall off. Maybe I'm the one that fell off. 
I sure did mess up that code card. Is it me or do the code cards look like they're made up of a different kind of cardboard? I feel like they're softer than the regular cards. A little bit thinner. Crushing Hammer, Starly, Cherubi, Young Goose. I see a little shiny edge. Ooh, Simiseer V-Star from the Galarian Gallery. That's a nice looking card. I think it's the first one that I have, but it's a nice looking one. And we got a Volcarona regular rare. Let's get a sleeve on this Simiseer. Such a nice card. The Galarian Gallery sure does help on these Crown Zenith pull rates. Feel like you're getting something out of every pack you open, or at least every other pack that you open. Starting off with the Steel Energy, or Metal Energy as you would say. Luxio, Ultra Ball, Electric, Ponyard, Yanma, Emolga. It's just so much fun when you know that you're going to have decent pull rates. I know that you have your fun sets like Evolving Skies, which have the really big, really amazing hits in them, but then the pull rates are not all that to be uh, excited about. So take some of the fun out of it let's get another four cards to the front we got a water energy rare candy dust gloss energy switch let's go for some gold hopefully we got something shiny oh are the gold cards in the galarian gallery or are they the rare slot i feel oh my god Golden Palkia V-Star from the Galarian Gallery. That answers my question. We got our second gold card overall. We got a third Lipard. But yes, we got the original origin form Palkia V-Star. That is the second of the four gold cards that I have pulled today. I think this is the... Probably like the second or third most competitive one. I think Dialga is the only one that's not competitive, but... That is another great hit. How amazing would it be if we pulled a Mewtwo? That Galarian Gallery Mewtwo that's fighting the Charizard. That would be the icing on the cake today. Can it be done? We got one more pack. This is the last pack. Let's find out if it can be done. Friends in Hisui, Ball Toy, Tangela, Rock Ruff. Snow Runt, Panchan, nothing in the Galarian Gallery. But I, uh, who knows? We got a regular rare Volcarona. Jeez. And here we summarize the best picks, the best pulls from these sets. Starting off with the most, uh, it's, it's, it's not the rarest one, but it is a very nice card, in my opinion, with this ditto regular reverse hollow on top of that we got these three promo cards the galarian moltres looks great in my opinion i love the way this card looks we have the galarian articuno which is gotta say it's my favorite art simply because it just goes well with the yellow border i'm so glad they're getting rid of the yellow borders but it just still the yellow border kind of works with the art on this card see if, giving that the card art is a little bit yellowish in the background or orangish in the background just it just clashes completely with this blue and the zapdos my second favorite card art simply because again that yellow border does not completely clash with it unlike the moltres so we got the articuno zapdos and the moltres and a regular hollow hollow bead i'm gonna go with bead regular hollow bead signed we got double radiant charger bugs um, now you only need one for a deck, but I got two of them, so I can make two decks. We got a Rayquaza V, reprint from Evolving Skies. We got a Hatterene V Max. This is also a reprint. Don't remember exactly what set this is from, but it is a reprint. We got a Toxtricity V Max from the Galarian Gallery, or just regular, I'm sorry. Toxtricity Regular from the Galarian Gallery. Fusion Strike card. We got a Thievel Galarian Gallery again. We got a Hyper Rare or Secret Rare Energy card. Love the way these energies look. Excellent cards. We got a Galarian Gallery Paris. Now this Paris, uh, like I was trying to explain earlier, goes with the 
picture where you combine the nine cards and you got uh, a picture after that. We have a Regigigas V-Star. Look at the art on that. That is a beautiful card. Looks rustic, looks old. And we got a Pansier V-Star. This card looks quite... I don't, I don't know what kind of art style this is. I, maybe some. Maybe you'd call it like a chibi or chibi? I'm, I'm not sure. But cream of the crop. We got the Origin Form Palkia V-Star. We got two gold cards now in my collection. Hopefully, I'll be able to complete the other two. Now, honestly, the gold cards were not my chase, but I'm not going to complain if I'm pulling them. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you so much for spending your time with me in this opening today. Hopefully, you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're almost going to hit 500 subscribers. We're 30 subscribers away from that. When we hit 500 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway of a Galarian, uh, what is it? No, a Crown Zenith, Regigigas, or Regidrago V-Box. It will be your choice, but we have to hit that 500 subscriber mark first, so go ahead and do that. Other than that, smash that like button and leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite card was here today. And with that, I leave you guys. I appreciate you guys spending your time with me, and I'll see you guys next time.